The woods behind the college. A little confusion here about going to cutting through Air Park Road and into this corridor here because the GPS wasn't really showing the turn. It's saying to stay on there, but the trail guide says to turn on Air Park and cut through this bushwhacker here. Go Carlos! Almost to checkpoint one. The bridge is out. Wayne trying to get his wet, his shoes wet. Some kind of raised rail bed or something right here. Fence hop. Pretty tall fence to hop. Huh? Pretty tall fence, huh? Here we go. We on Maytown Road. Just coming up on the 95 overpass. We just laid down some awesome average speed to make up some time. Feeling good. We got a good 17 miles of this long stretch of white line to follow. But here's the 95 overpass. I'm stop and take a break and eat a cliff bar. Here we are, Osteen. About to hit the bike path. We just came off Maytown Road for a long ways. Made a stop at the Texaco. Checkpoint at the cement marker in Osteen. We just passed. Oh yeah, nice bike path. Feeling good. Oh. 42 miles in. See ya. What up? In. Pumping his tire up at the park. Park. Repair stand. Repair stand in the middle of this bike trail. Spring to spring bike trail. Tools. Bike path. More of the spring to spring trail near Sanford, Florida. Gemini Springs Park, passing it. She stayed at the Burger King at I-4. About to do the trail to Lake Monroe Park. Here we are, making it out of the springs, the lake trail, spring to spring trail. About to head up to Shell Road, something like that. Nice boat ramp and all here. Very nice parks down here. It's packed with people everywhere. Here we are on Dutchman's Bend. Got a light sprinkle coming down. Right up here around the corner, we've got to hop a fence or something to get into the Blue Spring State Park. What right up? Sneaking in the back door. 
right here at the St. John's River acreage. Sandy beach. Not a doubt. A little thick sand in Blue Springs State Park here. Doing a little walking, feeling good. Get off our butts for a minute. Here we are at checkpoint five, I think. Lake Burton or something like that. Just saw a lime tree right out in the middle of the woods out here. It's pretty cool. Just left Blue Springs State Park where we saw some kids running from a black bear, but we never saw the bear, so we don't know if there was really a bear. Alright, we just spotted a bear back coming out of Blue Spring State Park. I didn't see him, but Dwayne did. I heard him scramble off. Scared us to death. Now here we are in a little bit of a drizzle of rain. Right next to a little orange orchard, or tangelos, if you can see those. We're heading our way to Astor. we still got to make it to Chuck Lennon. Alright, we're at the Blackwater Inn. Enjoying some surfing turf. Steak and shrimp for me, and Dwayne had the trigger fish. The trigger. He didn't even chew it. He swallowed it in big chunks. Crazy. You know, even then. Anyway, nice hotel right here on the St. John's River. It's a nice hotel. I mean, nice restaurant on the St. John's River. My bad. We are in room three in the Astora Hotel in Astor, Florida. $51 a night. We just called ahead and the guy left the key in the room and the door unlocked. And when we leave, we just have to leave the money on, in the drawer. Not many people do that now, this day and time. Trust people like that. We're glad he did. Astora Hotel, Astor, Florida. Looks like we are ready to roll in the morning. Gonna try to get out of here at 4 a.m. Make that 7.30 ferry. 30 miles to the ferry. Made it to Seville, 5.30 in the morning. Just made a store stop. Gonna try to make it to the ferry, 7.30. Well, we made the first ferry. Even though uh, it's past 7.30, we made the first ferry. Here we go. But the strange thing is, nobody was here when we got here. Thought for sure people would have camped out here last night waiting on the first ferry. I guess they all went around. We gotta take a picture of them. Your bike on this ferry? Anyway, it's been a beautiful, beautiful sunrise this morning in the forest, riding along. Started out pretty dark. Turned out beautiful. Anyway, we're on to Salt Springs. Hopefully eat some good food there. I am starving. All right, here we are. The middle of the Ocala National Forest. Making the turn onto that long sandy road right here. We made it to Salt Springs already, ate at the breakfast place there. Making the right here. Long roads.
Got some checkpoints coming up after this long road. Feeling good, a little tired, but we're gonna make it. Well, I started out at six on Saturday. Um, rolled out about uh, 20 miles into the ride. I got uh, glass in my back wheel, blew out my black wheel. So I had to put in a tube. And I had a couple other stops. It was really tough going on Saturday, I think. It was rainy, rainy, the rain, wet, wet. The rain, it was a little windy, a little bit different than I expected it to be. It was warmer, too. Yeah. Warm. And when we got to the dirt, it's like riding on Velcro. It was. <laughs> It yeah. just got a lot harder to pedal. Mm -hmm. There's 50 more miles of dirt this year than last year, so yeah. a lot more challenging to get to the ferry on time. Well, we're deep in the Ocala National Forest, and this is Paul. He's done, he's done done the Eaton Loop here, and he's about to leave us behind. We're about to do the Eaton Loop. So good luck to you. Alrighty. And see, maybe I'll see you guys again later today. Ah, uh, you better hope not. You're, <laughs> you're hurting. All right. Lakey. restaurant in Wakala up the road so we ended up going there and having dinner and then figuring out what we're going to do and the people are really really nice and he ended up calling he lives in Orlando like I do right he ended up calling his girlfriend and she was going to bring him like a tent and some camping supplies because he didn't we both factored that we were going to make it to the ferry in time right um so when she got there it took her like two hours to get there, but when she got there, he just decided, I'm going to go home. So oh, he left and went home. Left you alone. And left me there. Well, and I kind of, I kind of, uh, you know, I was tempted. When he made that move, I was tempted to do the same thing. I, I called my brother, and uh, I was like on the fence of having him come get me. And I'm like, ah, i got to finish what I started. Um, so we asked around to see if there was a place in town, like a hotel or something, and there's one place of lodging that they recommended, and we called them. It was like 70 bucks. And now when the other guy went home, that would have left me with a full 70 buck tab, and I, I didn't even do the ride with that kind of money on me. I didn't bring my credit, my debit card or anything. Right. So I was trying to decide what to do, and then the people, uh, the, the owners of the restaurant... And uh, the staff there, they were so nice, and they're, like, wanting to know, like, where am I riding from, and how far am I going, and how yeah. long have I been on the road. So I started talking with them, and then when they saw the other guy go, they were like, well, what are you going to do? Um, I said, I don't know. I'd kind of like to finish this, but I'm tempted to leave. And then they said, well, we just live right up the street. You know, we can go get some bedding supplies for you if you want, and you can just sleep here. They have a outdoor seating restaurant with picnic tables so that's oh, what they did they cool. brought me blankets and pillows and 
foam mattress and stuff, and I laid it out on a picnic table under the under the that bar. That is awesome, And I man. slept right there. Got up yeah. this morning, had a five star breakfast there, and <laughs> back on the road. Well, I'm glad you kept going, John. Good <laughs> I job. I am too. I yeah, am too. Man. I wanted to finish it, but it's gonna yeah. be a good day. Oh, you're gonna finish. I was on that, you know, teeter totter. It's like, oh, do I want to keep going? Because especially with all the rain yesterday. Yeah, man, it was rough. You know, some of those forest roads, I couldn't it's do more like than eight glue. and a half miles an hour. Yeah. I was like. It sucked. Remember so. this cat at the apartment? Yeah. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. good job. I'm Dean, by the way. I'm John. That's Dwayne. Yeah. Okay. Where you are you remember? guys from? We're from uh, Middle Georgia. That's Mont right. Robbins that's area. Right. That's yeah, right. yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so we yeah, are. Yeah. We're going to finish probably Monday is our plan. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm going to finish it today. Okay. I'm going to try to anyway. That's what you said yeah. last time. I started. wanted to finish it. Uh, <laughs> where's your car at? I'm going to have somebody pick me up. Okay. I've made arrangements for that. I just got to okay. call them in, in time because it's going to take them probably two hours to leave Orlando yeah. to come pick me up. The gate closes at sunset. The gate at the end? Yes. And it's like four miles from where you dip your tire. Well, if I make it, I make it. If well, I... you can dip your tire, then... No, you can get in. They can't. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. You'll have to go dip your yeah. tire and then ride back out I four see. miles to get well, your ride. I'll, pr I'll play it by ear and we'll see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can still make it. Yeah. Just they had to wait for you at the gate right. for you to go right. ride back to What it. time did you guys uh, uh, get into, like, the ferry area? We were the first We were the first to ride the ferry this morning. Okay. Yeah, the guy told me. Here we are, Mill Dam, filling up some water bottles with this beautiful water source right here. Just did some hellacious climbs up some dirt roads here. It must have been Ocala National Forest Mountain because some pretty big climbs. Yeah, here's the water source down at Pavilion at Mill Dam. Beautiful day so far. On our way to Santos. Here we are. We made it to the Marshall Swamp Trail, Greenway, something. Just got our checkpoint at the Ocklawaha Bridge. I guess we're fixing to just hit the trail. We're running out of daylight. Here we are, Marshall Swamp. Kicking it along. Beautiful trail out here with all the palmettos. Right when they were locking the door. What's your name? What's your name? Dano. Dano opened the door back up for us to come in here and get the bike worked on and all our supplies, man. This dude is awesome. Saved us. Whew. I think what your major issue is... The bag. Not so much your bag. Oh. So here we are in the oak. The Santos Trailhead Bike Shop. Greenway, the Greenway Cycles or something. And look, look what they got. Everything I need right here. I'm totally out of food. Totally out of food. And oh, this is just the smorgasbord of what I need. Oh. Hallelujah, we made it. It's 5 o'clock on Sunday. Amen. All right, here we are at the land bridge. Trailhead, Monday morning, about 6.45. We got to make it to the Withlacoochee Trail parking lot where our vehicle is by sundown or... It will be locked in. We'll have to stay another night or something. I think we got about 65 more miles to go. We can do this. All right, we made it to the Santos Land Bridge, getting our checkpoint here. Where's Waldo? This is the crossing over 75 for horses and bikes and hikers and whoever. I-75 North, 
I-75 South. Here we are, still in Santos. About to reach the 24-hour Walmart, the road up ahead. Going to stop for some water. Then we'll be looking for the Truett, Pruitt Memorial or something. Hot and muggy. Here we go. We're at a fence hop in the Pruitt Preserve. Tanaki. Oh, the Tanaki Preserve? We just passed the Pruitt Memorial. Looking for a Circle K up ahead somewhere. And riding some grassy double track. Watch out for the B wire. That's how you do it. Here we are at the Rainbow River. I didn't realize I was videoing, but we're in Dunnelin. This is the Rainbow River, right? Heavy traffic on a Monday for sure. Let's hit that Circle K right up there. We hit some real soft, sugary sand. Pretty much soaks she in. Can ride a lot of it, but looks like they paved the road with sand from Panama City. Anywho, we're pressing on. Looking for the Whistlacoochee Trail. Here we are, we made it to the Overlook. Checkpoint 15. Only one more checkpoint to go and that's checkpoint 16 with the front wheel dip. Here we come. Here we are on the Whistler Coochie Trail at the finish. About three miles to go to do the wheel dip. Dwayne Facebooking while he's riding. And a beautiful trail. Made it to the end of the Cross Florida Individual Time Trial, all the way from New Smyrna Beach to here at the Withlacoochee Bay Trail. Just did our wheel dip. It's been a fun trip. 